Hello and welcome to this video from Zero Assist. Want to know which players are going to get you those all important points at a budget price? Then make sure you stick around because I've been scouting every region and I'll be sharing my findings in this video today. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel then welcome. If you're looking for the Zero tutorials, scouting and other Zero content then you're in the right place. If you find this video useful then please push that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by pushing that big red button below and ping that notification bell to be the first to be alerted about any new content. If you haven't signed up to so rare yet then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free rare card and 10 common cards. If you have any questions or thoughts about today's videos then please drop them in the comments below. Right now that's out of the way let's get it stuck into today's content. So in this video series I'll be highlighting budget options in every region over a number of weeks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be highlighting players in regions and also in leagues as well in each videos depending on how many budget options I've come up with in each category. All these players are around or below £100 at the time of recording. Some are as low as £30 and at most £150 for maybe strikers or more elite players. These players are all good enough to hit the ETH thresholds in most weeks even if you're using a common keeper. These selections also tie in with my video on building a server team from zero to hero where the principle was to use four rare cards and a common keeper to get those ETH thresholds most weeks. A link is in the description below if you do want to watch that. So due to this I won't be highlighting goalkeepers on this video series because if there's a slight chance of goalkeeper will play their price is going to be high. There's no such thing as a budget keeper really in today's market for a quality starting goalkeeper. But with the players highlighted you should be able to use a decent common keeper and still at those ETH thresholds and then potentially save up with the prize that you win for your first rare keeper. If you already have a rare keeper, that's even better. So the idea is that these players will be able to get you around 50 points on average amongst your four outfield players. This will get you 200 points, plus add on top of that the percentage bonuses of your cards and your common keeper score of course, and there's a high chance you could also reach the higher threshold payout. Now I bet you're thinking that it's hard for your players to score 50 every week, well, they don't have to. If one player scores 70, then one of your other players can be excused for scoring 30 points, as that's still an average of 50 points between two players. The players highlighted have all the right statistics and history to, of good scores to hit those thresholds. They're also expected to start most games or are already seeing regular game times for the club. And the good thing is, they're available at a budget price. I'm highlighting their scoring history and looking at their prices on the market at the time of recording. Right, let's get into the first selection then. So the first selection I've gone for in this week's video is Karaviv of Zenit Petersburg. 26 year old defender, obviously playing for a top side. Looking at his scores. Some brilliant scores here over the past, um, well these were all his scores actually since um, Sir Rare was established. But as you can see he's got some brilliant scores, a couple of hundreds thrown in here as well. And he's looking very very good in terms of the scores there. So in terms of price on Sir Rare, let's have a look. See what it's going for at the time of recording. So as you can see here on the secondary market, there's one on this, the auctions here for 81. So I would say you'd be able to get them for obviously lower than that. Probably between 50 to 80 pound, you'd be able to pick up this player at a quality top side in the Russian league. So that is the first option there in Kararev. He looks a fantastic option, only 26 as well. And I would expect that he'd get plenty of clean sheets in a Zenit Petersburg team. Next up is Rybus of Lokomotiv Moscow. 31 year old, scores wise, speak for themselves, absolutely brilliant scores there. In terms of his price on Sir Rare, let's have a look. Let's see what his price is at the time of recording. £60 here, 
that looks fantastic 70 so you could probably get this guy for around 40 pound something like that which is absolutely brilliant for a top player who's getting consistently good scores and a fantastic defender in your for a Russian division in the European uh, division there so the next player on the list is Sergei Petrov plays for Krasnodar in the Russian league 30 year old is an attacking fullback this guy he was out injured for quite a number of months as you can see here but he did come back last at the end of last season so I think he is fully fit now and expected to get a lot more minutes this upcoming season as you can see when he was playing he has some brilliant brilliant scores for so rare so he is a fantastic option let's have a look at his prices then on so rare let's have a look so as you can see he's very cheap 60 pound here so you could get him for a 50 pound bid maybe they would put this one here for 50 pound so you could even get him for 40 pound bid potentially absolutely fantastic bag in there for a fantastic attacking player um, in your challenger europe lineups so another defender i've gone for actually is midfielder now the uh, midfielder onto the midfielders um is van der druzevicic totally pronounced that wrong <laughs> i know that um so this is from the belgium league he's only 31 scores wise he's got some impressive scores here he's capable of some high numbers as well as represented by the 98 and the 90 score there in terms of price on the market now this is a midfielder bear in mind so the price of midfielders are usually more expensive than defenders but you can still get this guy for around 80 pound maybe even less than that 70 pound 60 pound something like that or even when the auction start coming up for the new cards because obviously the new season is just around the corner then you probably have to pick him up for auction at a bargain price as well for a midfielder um, that is a brilliant price potentially for a guy who's getting a really good average score rate in there so the next midfielder we've gone for is Josh Cullen of Anderlecht only 25 obviously playing for a top side and as you can see from his minutes and numbers here, looking brilliant in terms of the scores he's getting. He's going to get you regular scores of 50 or higher. Okay, so that's absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look at his, his price on the market then. So he is 25, quite, quite young really, playing for a top side as well. So I'd expect his price to be a lot higher. But as you can see, you could potentially pick this guy up for around £100. And as I say, with the new auctions coming up, probably just around the corner, you could probably pick him up on the primary market at a much lower price. So it does look another fantastic option there with these scores. And obviously he's playing at a top club, which is also a bonus. Number midfielder is Bezos of Ghent. Again, another top side in the Belgium division. 30 year old, scores wise, brilliant scores as you can see. And he's getting a lot of these peak high scores, which is going to get you in the um, prize pool for the cards as well. Um, the card rewards on so rare. Does look a fantastic option there. So looking at his price then, let's have a look. So price wise, midfielder for a top side, we're looking at around probably 120, which isn't too bad, I'd say. And again, with the primary markets, probably just around the corner in terms of the new cards. You'd probably even pick him up cheaper than that. So I would say you should be able to pick up this guy around £100. Looks a real bag in there. So the next player on the shortlist is midfielder again. And that is Hermans of Mechelen. This time in the Belgium League. Um, looking at his scores, as you can see, he's got some fantastic scores. Some high numbers as well, which is what we want. Especially if you're wanting to get those um, card rewards looking really really good it's going to be a consistent performer for any so rare team so looking at the cards in on the market let's have a look at the prices we're looking at so there's one here for 85 pound absolute bargain there's another one here 87 
So you could put a, put it, probably put a bid in for 60 to £70 pound and pick this guy up. And you've got to have a midfielder there with quality scores at a very low price. So the next midfielder we've gone for is Odejija Afo of Ghent. Again, Ghent are a quality side in the Belgium league. Fets two year old, he's a starter for Ghent. And look at these numbers. Absolute fantastic. Look at that. Look at these scores here. It's, this is what you want to see, isn't it? A sea of green. Absolute brilliant. Absolutely looks fantastic, this guy. So let's have a look at his price then on So Rare. For a guy like this, come on, you must be paying big bucks, right? Well, let's have a look. No, not that bad, really. I'd say for £200, that's that's looking pretty good. For a guy who's scoring this, these scores, look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Also, almost a lot amongst the elites there in terms of scores. So this price looks good. Don't bear in mind, though, this is a secondary market. So you'd be able to probably buy him in this primary market at a much lower price than the displayed figure here. I'd say you'd be able to get him for around 150 I would say, on a good day, which is fantastic for a guy of this quality. So another midfielder I've gone for is Remy Cabela of Krasnodar in the Russian League. Fair to one year old, he was out injured for a number of um, months, but he did come back last season and... As you can see, he was getting some fantastic scores there. Very creative player, this guy. Has, does plenty of passes, crosses, key passes, that sort of thing. So he's usually among the goals as well and assists. This is the period where he was out injured. But as you can see, since he's come back, he's been playing regular minutes and getting some very, very high scores. Price-wise then for this midfielder, let's have a look. So we're looking at 200 again, which is, a, a, I think, a good price for a guy of this quality. Um, so around £200 for Cabela. But I would say, again, on the primary market with the new cards coming in, you'd probably be able to pick him up for around 150 And for a guy who's getting these sort of scores, that looks absolutely fantastic. So on to the next midfielder then, and that is Danil Fermin of Dynamo Moscow. This time in the Russian League, scores-wise, as you can see, very good high scores. He's only 24 as well, so can only get better really. Dynamo Moscow are a decent team in the Russian League as well. So he is capable of these high scores, but he's going to consistently get you these um, 50s and high 40 scores as well but more often than not is they're going to be above that and he is capable of getting these high scores here that are going to get you in the prize pool of um, cards so let's have a look at his pricing on the market 24 year old midfielder let's have a look at what sort of price he's going for brilliant look at this 100 pound 117 118 fantastic there absolutely brilliant bargain to me that looks um, you'd be able to pick him up for a bid in there, £80 maybe. Get him on the um, around £80, which is brilliant. Only 24 looks fantastic. Great scores, fantastic bargain. So, the next midfield I've gone for is another player from Ghent in the Belgium League. Fair three year old, and that is Fen Gums. His scores speak for themselves, really. Look at this, absolutely brilliant. It's probably can be relied on every. every um, week to get you these high consistent scores looking at his price then on so rare let's have a look so he is fair to free that's what's very bad but look don't let them put that put you off he's gonna have another full season at a top club so this price here look looks brilliant 88 pound you could probably pick him up for 60 pounds something like that for a player of this quality that looks absolutely fantastic so another player definitely worth considering there. So on to the forwards then in the um, Belgium and Russian leagues then, budget terms. So look at this guy, Sebastian Drussi, 25 year old. Brilliant player this guy. If you look at his stats on um, surf score or something like that, he's got high passes, high key passes, high crosses, shots on target. He's got a lot this guy. He has been out injured for... Um, He's had his injury issues on and off, as you can see, he did not play his. But he is back now. I would expect he's fully fit now as well, because he did return at the end of last season, getting some good minutes there. 
um, as as displayed by his last five, which is sixty on average. Uh, but he's only twenty five. It was once a hot prospect. He's obviously not in that category now because he's twenty five. But he does look a brilliant option. So when he is playing these um, regular minutes, look playing the sixty minutes, ninety minutes, that sort of thing, he is going to be getting you these high scores. He is playing for a top side as well in Senate Petersburg. So let's have a look at his price then. What we're talking here, let's have a look. So in terms of price, um, as you can see here, there's 133. For a forward in a top side who's young, that is a brilliant, brilliant price. I'm sure you'll agree. But again, you'll be able to pick him up on the primary market when the new cards come out, are probably lower than that. And of course, you can put a lower bid in than the displayed figure here as well to get a quality forward in your lineups. So the next forward I've gone for is Dino Hotik of Circle Bruges. 25 year old who obviously plays in the Belgium League. And looking at his scores, look very, very good. Okay, So he's got some consistent scores here around the 50 mark is what we're looking for essentially to get the threshold. But he is also capable of getting these higher scores as well to get you higher up in the rankings in the leagues and potentially win you some um, cards there. So looking at the price for Hotik, um, £80 here, again that's a fantastic price for a forward. And the rest of the prices displayed are around £100, so you can put a bid in there for 80 but at this price here, this card here at the time of recording, you could probably put a price in a bid in for around £60, something like that, £70. So £60-£70 for a forward is an absolutely fantastic price. So next up I've gone for Manuel Benson. Again, 24, still young. Um, plays for Royal Antwerp. This is in the Belgium League. Looking at his scores, as you can see, he's got some fantastic scores there. In and out of the team, but he is young. And as you can see towards the end of the season here, he's got some consistent time and some consistent minutes. And he is getting some fantastic scores there. So a couple of high numbers there as well. So he's a young player. I expect him to get some more minutes um, this upcoming season as well. In terms of his card prices, there is only one on, on sale at the moment. But that is at £74, which is fantastic. So you'll be able to pick this guy up for around £60, I would say, on, this, um, on a bid maybe on this card. Or even get him for around £60 on the primary market when the new cards come on sale. So the final player I've gone for is Killian Hazard. Obviously the brother of Eden Hazard. Circle Bruce player, plays in the Belgium League. Only 25. He's had his injury concerns from here, as you can see he's been injured. But I think he is due back now, he is back to full fitness. So I expect him to be a key player for Circle Bruges in the upcoming season. Looking at his scores, as you can see, he is capable of these high scores as well, but getting some high, good average numbers as well. So it does look a fantastic player. So price-wise, let's have a look then. Let's see if there's any up for sale of Hazard. And there is £66 here. That looks absolutely brilliant. 57 there for the, um, the previous season. 51 here as well. So this does look an absolute bargain as well. So you could probably pick up this guy for around £50. Now that does look brilliant. So as you can see there's plenty of bargains there to be getting on with, to be researching. So get them on your shortlist, get them shortlisted on your um, Sora website as well. Have a look at the prices, put a bid in, get a team together and look forward to the new season kicking off. Some fantastic budget prices there, brilliant options there. If you did like this video, please um, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. If you have any comments on today's video, then please drop them in the comments below. Let me know if you've purchased any of these players um, or if you've got your eye on any of them. And also, please report back to me of how you're getting on using the strategy and these players within the strategy as well. You can also follow us on Twitter if you want to do that, at Surair Assist and Instagram as well, and also now on Facebook as well. Also, check out our free website, surairassist.com, where we've got some fantastic free resources there for Surair. Links are in the description below. 
There's also the link in the description below to sign up to Sir Rare to get those all important free rare cards. Okay, that's it from today from me. I'll hopefully see you again in the next video. Bye for now.